will we lose jobs to ai this is my topic i think we have been talking about recession beyond recession there is something big something worried thing happening i think you all should know and you all should strategize for that again my question is will we lose jobs to ai the true answer is yes if you just name it the absolute absolute answer is no probably if you understand how to tame it my dear friends the world of opportunities are going to be shrunk into four segments or four categories category 1 is all about all founders and entrepreneurs and so on not more than 2% the next category could be, would be in the future all the technology and domain experts who are immensely contributing towards training and tuning the massive language transformers and models that is going to be the second segment which is going to be more than 5% to 8% that is what is the prediction the next set of category is the large category i think you would be actually talking about jobs for those that category in next 3 4 years time as my ex vipro friend told in the yesterday is going to be completely for prompt engineering prompt engineers that is a title and also sometimes they called as a prompt writers the fourth category that would be around 40% or 50% the last category would be the users of ai or application users of ai they are like a, more than 50% rest of the categories my dear friends a tsunami is approaching very quickly swiftly and with a very dangerous uh, 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 thinking probably some of the statistics if i share i think you would be very seen that it is clearly evident that it is approaching us very closely until 2014 academia was only working on ai and machine learning part whereas since 2021 if you look at or since 2022 industry has produced more than 22 machine learning models whereas academia has only produced three models that you can understand how this shift is actually moving to industry and how the commercialization space of ai is actually coming up until 2000 or since 2019 worldwide 30 llms are actually kind of launched large language models whereas recently i think of uh, not more than 6 months back china has released first bilingual llm i think that is going to be completely revolutionizing probably i think hindi is going to come in very shortly as well the third intervention happening in this particular space a started building ai that is very very dangerous step which has been witnessed by nvidia recently they have developed a some kind of ai re reinforcement language assistant which is actually kind of helping their chip to design which is going to power the ai that is a kind of a meta form they are actually coming up the fourth interesting fact which you all need to experiment as part of the first year second year third year fourth year is mandatory is a has become a pair assistant pair programmer recently i think uh, uh, probably 6 months back github has actually done a experiment with all the developers 95 super developers they divided the 95 developers into two segments and half of them were given copilot as an assistant and half of them were given just a share laptop that's all and they were given a task and if with without copilot only 70% of them actually could able to complete the task and they took average of 161 minutes with copilot 78% completed and the average time is only 70 minutes they could able to save 50% productivity that is the new step which has already began in industry today unless we introduce copilots or assistants probably i think these guys would never reach to the level of productivity which industry is going to expect since 2050 22 more than 50% companies across the world have already implemented ia as one single function in one of the department at least that means that already kind of surge is coming up in that area since we are all academicians and talking about academia and we are also getting into the trap of uh, recruitment industry let me share one statistics which is uh, happening in us as well since 2011 if you look at phd's in computer science and ai especially in the north america and us region right 
40% were actually kind of getting industry jobs and 42% were getting into the academic jobs. That was the scenario. However, since 2021, last two years or last three years, why we're actually not getting recruiters because industry is actually kind of offering more than 68% jobs for the PhDs in AI, whereas only academia is offering only to 28%. That means that the shift is already began. Now, if you see these trends and uh, if you look at, analyze deep into these trends, what would happen to all of us and what would happen to the job scenario and how these job scenario will be shifting to the next stage and so on. Ladies and gentlemen, my dear friends, already the average or mediocre person's job is already re replaced or displaced or recreated or some, whatever you say. First of all, let's look at, because we are talking about medicine, we are talking about management professionals, we are talking about accountants, we are talking about engineers, let me start with medicine itself. The average or mediocre doctor's job is already taken over by AI. Let me take a couple of examples so you understand the seriousness of it as a whole problem. The average surgeon, average medical surgeon's job is already taken up by a company called Hugo Rag Systems. They have made a powerful AI-powered surgery, robotic surgery arm, which is a kind of doing many things than average surgeon. Only super surgeon is required, the rest of the job is already taken up by that system itself. It's a self-manageable surgery system. The average oncologist job or a cancer specialist job is already taken up by various companies. One of the companies actually started in Vizag itself. My ex Vipro manager, I think uh, 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 Lavanam would be knowing that, uh, Mr. Rajshekar Komu, he was my ex Vipro manager. He started along with uh, Venkatraman, they started a company called Carkinos and they have almost advanced to the level of a average surgeon's level. Because last year in India, more than 20 lakhs reported officially the, ca the cancer uh, detection. Whereas unofficially, more than 80 lakh people are kind of pray for the cancer. Whereas we have only 3,000 specialists, cancer oncologists available, and 800 surgery specialists in can uh, cancer are available. If that is the kind of case, the, you must have an AI or you must have a system which, which is kind of scalable. So that is the place where these guys are entering, not just Carcinos alone, there are so many companies entering into this space. There are no more uh, ophthalmologists required because Google is coming up with a retinal ophthalmologist kit which you just need to wear it and within a few minutes it is going to give a prescription and you just need to go to lens card and get the, your eyes done. That's all. That is going to be the next version which they are going to launch it very, very soon. There are no more general physicians. I, I'm only talking about average guys. I'm not talking about a super specialist or I'm not talking about extraordinary people who are, who are kind of uh, influence the psychology part of patient. No, I'm only talking about an average graduate levels. There are no more general physicians required because there is a company which has produced a medical tricoder which is kind of detecting 13 diseases including anemia and leukemia and so on. I think this is the powerful tool. You just need to put it in your uh, house like any other dermometer that would take care of many of the jobs. So this is all about medicine. Let us come to the management and HR professionals because that is also that industry is also heavily going to be uh, exploited by the AI. There are no more HRs and uh, technical recruiters are required in future because we ourselves, as a, uh, we started a small form called skill2030.com. It is completely AI-powered, metaverse-based, total interview automation. You just casually interact with an avatar and it takes care of the most of the responses. Till date, we were only worried, last four years, we were kind of really worked hard to keep a Python interview or a Java interview kind of thing. But thanks to the chat GPT integration now, anything you ask, she will, she or he would actually kind of respond and you ask, I think it would take like any other normal conversation. The conversation AI for the interviews alone is already built by us, but we were displaced in within two months because the, our competitor is much more powerful. He has integrated the chat GPT in a more seamless way and they have taken over that. That is a kind of shift going to happen in industry in the HR side. There are no more letter drafting people required a general uh, receptionist or general letter drafting and that is the skill which we were kind of uh, happy f when we were in pre-sales and so on because Jasper is very intelligent to take care of that. There are no more accountants like uh, MBAs and CAs and uh, all that I think uh, general accountants. I'm not talking about uh, specialist accounts because Joho Books is already doing that job more seamlessly than an average accountant. 
Uh, we all think that at least we will have a marketing job ready, but Market Muse has developed a wonderful product which is kind of doing an extraordinary job in branding and marketing and so on. That is the kind of uh, AI power which is coming up. Now let's come to the real business which we are all in. That is the more uh, the lucrative business this is the software engineering or software developers. How this industry is going to be impacted or already impacted and how we need to strategize in our college level right from the first year, how we need to imp in in kind of impart some of these skills or some of these tools at a very early age so that they become AI compliant. Like uh, earlier digital compliant, now we are going to talk about AI compliant. The average app developer's role is already displaced by Joho Works. I think Joho Creates is a no-code app, no-code platform which is doing a very reasonable job. We don't require an extraordinary app developers. I think that job is already taken up by this. The average code generation work is already taken up by, as I told, Copilot from GitHub or AWS Code Whisper, or probably, I think, Codex by OpenAI. They're doing a reasonable job. Then you might say that it must be developing a complex code. Then someone has to be there for bug fixing. That bug fixing job is already taken up by deep code, which is a better intelligent than an average developer. If you look at testing, at least uh, testing is the job available, but Texium.io is uh, doing an average testing well, and also it is uh, detecting the regression code within the code itself. That means that it can actually generate more test cases than a regular developer does. From a documentation side, hugging phrase, uh, transformers are doing an extraordinary job in terms of uh, code to the documentation. That is uh, what work is already happening. From a data science side, right from the data preparation to the feature modeling to the model selection to the uh, hyper uh, parameters uh, tuning and to the final predictive modeling, all the steps which I talked about, five steps are already taken up by Data Robo, which is a product, which is something which we have not even introduced, but data science has a degree which started in many colleges just as a theory, but this is actually doing the job on ground. Infra provision, of course, Terraform is already doing that. While I'm sharing so much of bad news to all of you, what is the good news from you today? My dear friends and ladies and gentlemen, the only one job left or the only one place where A is not able to penetrate and not able to at least get into an inch, for move forward, is one space that is something where creativity and design thinking and intuitiveness, probably a little bit of uh, uh, the space of the psychology part which A is unable to understand. So if you can actually, sp and, uh, if you can occupy that space in every activity or every assignment or every code or every place, probably I think that is a space will be uh, given to the opportunity, uh, uh, that will be created as an opportunity for many students. And we need to start introducing these particular aspects in every activity we conduct in, in the form of college and so on. My dear friends, I think design thinking is going to be the only leftover job I think everybody is talking about. And uh, US is doing a lot of research on the design thinking side, how that would actually enable more and more jobs in the future. And that is a place where A cannot that fast enter in. So please consider design thinking as part of your curriculum. Thank you so much. Now or never, decide. Thank you. Thank you.